water. It's essential to human life. We build our homes and cities along coasts, rivers, and deltas. More than half the nation lives near water. Living near the water provides benefits. On the other hand, the climate is changing, populations are growing, and flood risks are rising. As communities near the water search for solutions, a Penn State research team is helping communities to find these solutions. Klaus Keller's research is helping communities make better decisions by improving the characterization of the risks and providing tools to help with the design of risk management strategies. Start with decision, identify what is possible, then identify what drives poor outcomes, and then hone in on terms of science in order to improve the decision-making process by providing better information. In Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania, the researchers are analyzing how a community along the Susquehanna River can manage flood risks. Some neighborhoods along the river are facing a critical juncture where more flood risks can cause residents to relocate. Keller's approach combines disciplines such as earth science, engineering, and ethics to inform decision-making. A transdisciplinary team analyzes available solutions and how these solutions may impact the community. For example, a massive levy could reduce flood risk, but with unacceptable upfront costs and aesthetics. We don't look at the problem just from an engineering point of view. We look at it from perspectives such as computer science, philosophy, and system modeling. We combine these and other disciplines to help improve decisions. Understanding and incorporating uncertainty is crucial. A strategy that works well for the best guess scenario may fail drastically when confronted with known unknowns. Communicating how different strategies map into outcomes is an important part of this work. For this, the team uses tools such as virtual reality to help stakeholders and decision makers better navigate the trade-offs. Getting the communication between the decision makers and the researchers to work can be non-trivial. It is important to establish an environment of shared discovery where both sides benefit and learn. We have to do two things at the same time. We have to do the science right and we have to do the right science. Starting with a real-world decision problem can help to identify questions that are not just exciting but also societally relevant.